An historic trial in Manhattan continues today in about three hours. A key prosecution witness continues testimony in former President Donald Trump's criminal trial. CBS's Jared Hill joins us now live from New York this morning to walk us through what we can expect today. Good morning to you, Jared. And, and let's talk about uh, the testimony from yesterday from uh, Mr. David Packer, who, who testified for less than, a, less than an hour before court adjourned. And uh, he's going to be continuing that testimony again today. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. So David Pecker Wisdom uh, is the former publisher of the National Enquirer, the tabloid. Yesterday was a short day in court for a number of reasons, including Passover. So he's back today discussing his involvement or alleged involvement with former President Donald Trump, in particular, what the prosecution is calling this conspiracy uh, and cover up effort to hide unfavorable stories about the then candidate Trump back before the 2016 election uh, so that he could potentially win the election in 2016, something that did in fact end up happening. All of this going back to this bigger argument from the prosecution that the former president was maneuvering in a way, um, they say clandestinely, to influence the election in 2016. Now, the defense here interestingly said that influencing an election is not illegal. They say that that is just democracy. And so the question is going to be whether this jury hears this evidence over the course of the next couple of weeks uh, and sides with either side. All right. And Jared, also, there's been a, some talk about gag orders and and the judge telling yeah. Trump not to go out and say certain things. Uh, what's the what's the deal with the gag order? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So there's this gag order, this limited gag order that's been put in place over uh, this trial and in particular over former President Trump to stop him from saying things about the judge, about the judge's family, as well as about uh, the jury and some of the witnesses in this case. All of this, again, an effort to make sure, according to the judge, that the case is not tampered with, that there's not witness intimidation, that members of the jury don't feel as though they need to uh, sway their decision in one way or the other out of fear of some sort of persecution from the outside. Uh, today we are going to be hearing before the witness testimony, there's a hearing happening in the court because the prosecution alleges that former President Trump violated that gag order a number of times with a number of posts he made on social media. Uh, again, that could potentially come with some fines as well as some other punishments if the judge in fact does decide that he violated that gag order. Uh, and so that's something we're going to have to wait and see later on as well. And we've also seen over the past, you know, couple of hours, former President Trump continuing to rail against the proceedings, against the judge, against even the jury, both on social media as well as in a podcast interview. So again, we'll wait and see whether that gets tacked on to some of this as well. All right. Back to you. CBS's Jared Hill reporting. Thank you, Jared. Appreciate your time this morning. All right. Stay tuned for CBS Mornings at 7 a.m. The team will be joined by uh, legal analyst Ricky Kleiman. She's going to join them live to further discuss uh, the specifics of the hearing today on whether the former president should be held in contempt for defying a gag order. Here on WSA 9, we will stay on top of Trump's uh, criminal trial and all of his uh, legal cases. Remember, the Supreme Court is expected to hold a hearing Thursday to decide whether Trump, as a former president, is immune to federal prosecution. You can see the very latest on WSA 9.com and WUSA 9 Plus.